News for Midday starts now. And his name and his art became infamous in D.C. in the 1980s. We'll talk to the two men bringing his story to the big screen. A documentary about one of D.C.'s most notorious street artists is set to be released this weekend. It's called The Legend of Cool Disco Dam. the narrator of the film and DC legend, Henry Rollins. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the and thank you so much for showing up tonight on a, on a Saturday. It's half of your weekend, so thanks for sacrificing it with the legend of Cool Disco Dan. You can see my name at the bottom of the screen. I'm the one you, whose voice will be tortured by for the duration. Uh, several months ago, uh, the guys came to me, Roger and Joseph, and they asked if I would uh, do voiceover on this project. And I'm, like many of you, a Washington, D.C. native. And I remember all too well the disco Dan uh, graffiti. And I said, I'm in. Washington, D.C. is a city that means a lot to a lot of people in America. For a lot of people in, the, in wherever they are in America, outside of our area, it's, it's where the president lives and, and uh, where Congress doesn't seem to move and where people get frustrated. <laughs> But those of us who were born and raised around here know that there's a whole lot of other stories going on in Washington. And to tell the story of Washington, D.C. and the outlying areas through the prism of music and Cool Disco Dan is a wonderful way to tell the story. And uh, so enough of me talking. I'm not going to ruin the thing for you. I guarantee you, you're going to see this thing tonight. You're going to be very glad you showed up. You will tell a friend. And many of you, you will come and see this again. Ago, I was hoping so much that finally people in Los Angeles were going to get a chance to see it, and, and here we are now. Thank you. 
Anybody listening to this that haven't seen the film, you grew up in D.C. in the 70s, 80s, or 90s, you need to see it. I think it just turned out beautifully. I think it's a masterpiece, and I just think it, it really uh, plays with the tension between notoriety and celebrity, and it really speaks to the power of art. I just finished watching wonderful film, Legend of Cool Disco Dan. You know, I thought it was great. It took me back to the days when, you know, go-go music ruled, you know, my neighborhood. I just really, really appreciated the film, and I hope as many people, you know, sees it as possible. So definitely check it out when you get a chance.